Hi there everyone. I hope you're all okay. I hope you're all looking forward to an amazing week. And why not? The sun's going to shine. The gods are in their heavens. And everything's fine. To all my 371 family members, thank you and welcome to this particular video. I hope that you're all well as I say. And today we're going to be doing another taste test. And as times are getting harder and supermarket prices are rising daily in some cases, I think that we're all beginning to feel the pinch in so many ways with costs in fuel, electricity, gas, food, travel, whatever. I think we're all beginning to feel that pinch. So I've been looking around and I've got four different types of baked bean here to try. From very cheap to the most expensive one that I found. And I'll start off doing this one now with uh, Bonner's. Bonner's baked beans. Finest baked beans in tomato sauce. 200 grams, so it's a small tin. And that's, that's the tin. And they're packed by MLC Wholesale Limited. 112 Whitley Road, Whitley Bay, Tyne and Weir. Why I man. And they are baked beans in a no added sugar and reduced salt tomato sauce with sweetener. Haricot beans 50%, tomatoes 37%, water, modified maize starch, salt, etc. etc. It's 200 grams and this little can here was from Pound Stretcher and it was 15 pence. That's right, 15 pence. So, there they are. There are the beans. 15p. So let's give them a try. They smell absolutely fine. And there you go. 15 pence. The sauce is very nice. No complaints with the sauce. The beans are absolutely fine. No problem at all with the beans. And at 15 pence. Fifteen pence in my book, that's a winner. Excuse me, well, I'll just get a drink. Did I say they were from Pound Stretcher? Pound Stretcher. Now the next one that I'm going to try on our behalves is a Royal Crown baked beans in tomato sauce 45% beans, water, tomato paste, sugar, thickener packed in Italy for Kirill Mischief Limited And there it is. These for 400 grams, 
23 pence. As I look at them, the sauce is very watery. I don't know if you can see that without me tipping it out. But the sauce looks very watery. Let's give them a taste. Uh, right. you probably get a better idea of how watery it is from there. So, 23 pence. The beans are absolutely fine. But the sauce is as it appears. There's no substance and no body. I'm sure you could uh, add something to it to thicken it up. As I said, the beans are fine. And at 23 pence, great value. Let's have another drink. They were very watery though. The next tin that we're going to try is another 400 gram one. And this is from, oh this is 420 grams. And this is from Hunger Breaks. Baked beans. 51% beans, water, tomato paste, 9%, sugar, a modified maize starch, salt, onion powder, paprika extract and paprika flavouring. And that's it. This tin was from Farm Foods and this one was 25 pence. 25 pence for baked beans and it's one of your five a day. And there they are. Already you can see how much thicker that one is than the, is it called Crown Royal that I've just had? Oh, Royal Crown. Yeah, hunger breaks. Baked beans. 25 pence. And this is the spoonful from Hunger Breaks. It's got a rich, thick sauce to it. We'll try the taste. The sauce is lovely. It's a nice texture to it. It perhaps could do with a little extra seasoning. A little bit more salt like most things these days. But no complaints at all. Absolutely no complaints at 25 pence. Twenty-five pence for four hundred and twenty grams of baked beans. <coughs> you can't go wrong. Add a bit of cheese to them, or whatever you wish to add. 
and they will, they're, they're amazing. 25 pence, absolute knockout. I have to say. Right, the next one is the most expensive tin of beans that I found, and it's Branston. And this is from a local shop. And we've got 410 grams in this one. And this one was 89 pence. I won't name the local shop for fear of shaming them. Because I'm sure you can get them cheaper in other places. Beans, 51%, tomatoes, 38%, water, sugar, modified, maize starch, reduced sodium sea salt, spirit vinegar, salt, paprika, white pepper, spices and flavourings. And of course this is a product which is made in Liverpool. So there we go. This pack contains two servings and is part of your five a day. So yeah, 89 pence versus 25, 23 and 15 pence. And there you can see the Branston beans. I'm sure you've all had Branston before. They are, in my personal opinion, one of the better beans. But let's see how they measure up to this lot I've just eaten. I'm finding in this one that the sauce is okay. But the beans are very powdery, chalky. And I have to be honest, the Branston baked beans are not the best out of these four. Can you guess which one's going to be the best? If I'm perfectly honest, I've got to say that this small tin of Bonners at 15 pence from Pound Stretcher, 15 pence, this is a far better baked bean than the Branston one. The hunger break beans come second at 25 pence. The Branston baked beans come in third place at 89 pence. And the last of all is the Royal Crown baked beans at 23 pence. You really are getting what you've paid for in this tin. So, to the scores. Bonners, 10 out of 10. Without doubt, the nicest baked bean of the selection we've tried this morning. Without doubt. Hunger Breaks, 10 out of 10. Brilliant for the money at 25p. Six out of ten for Branston. Very disappointed with the quality of the baked bean itself. And Royal Crown, two out of ten. 
they are <laughs> to be avoided. Let's just put it that way. Right guys and girls, in these times of hardship, I hope you've enjoyed that little delve into the cost of baked beans, the quality of the baked bean, etc. If you get to Pound Stretcher and you see Bonners, give them a go. Just give them a go. Don't let the 15p price ticket put you off. They are really good. And on that note, my friends and family, if you've liked it, click the like button. Please feel free to leave a comment. I do answer every comment. Hit the bell icon for any future uploads. As I say, I think I said yesterday we're going down to North Wales in a couple of weeks. So there will be more reviews down there and more videos of an eclectic nature. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel, please feel free to subscribe. It costs you absolutely nothing. It helps the channel grow and we become part of that bigger family. To the 371 family members, thank you from the bottom of my heart. It does make all this worthwhile. I appreciate each and every one of you. And at this point I will say Namaste. May your God go with you. And above all, be kind to each other and have an amazing week. Bye for now.